Greetings YouTube. Today we're going to try and heat up a can of soup using this wet fire stove. It's an ultralight titanium three-legged affair. Uh, it's kind of a minimal minimalist, that's easy for me to say, minimalist approach to cooking but for lightweight day packing, backpacking, or even uh, go bag. It's not a bad addition I think. I've never used it before so today you and I will learn for the first time whether it works. So stand by for more. Alright, let's get busy here. So, what we're going to use is first the tinder fire stove that I spoke of. I picked this up a couple of years ago someplace, I don't remember where. I might have ordered it off of Amazon or someplace. Very simple little affair. Comes with one wet fire cube. So all you have to do is just open up the three legs, which are kind of serve as a pot stand. I like to open them up in more or less of like a triangle. But I suppose that you could open it any way your little heart desires. So that's it. Right there. And there's the wet fire cube. Now these I understand are fairly sooty. I've never used one for cooking, I've only used them for starting fires. But that's it. Feels a little bit greasy, actually. Looks a little bit greasy. So, I'll put that in there. And today we have to light it with another rather new addition to the workforce here. This is a Swedish fire knife, a Mora Swedish fire knife. And it has a built-in ferrocerium rod for striking sparks. I haven't used it before so I want to get it going. No, that's good. See if we can light this tinder fire cube with it. There we go. Fire in a hole. So it's a little bit breezy today. I made this. Yo, you can see it's breezy. Windbreak out of an old can. Cut it open with a cutting wheel and a Dremel tool. Kind of keep the wind out. Pot goes down in there like so. And we have a can of Progresso chicken noodle soup. Nice. Put that in the pot. Get warm, but we're not there yet. This pine tree here has been infected by borers. I've treated it a few times, but they're still after it. But the side bonus of that is it has provided me with quite a bit of pitch, which I intend to gather and refine, get all the needles out of it, and we'll use that for an alternative fire starting substance. A little bit of steam coming off of that now. Should be ready in just a few minutes. Alright, let's give it a check. I think the fire's out and the soup is plenty hot. The fire is out. There's just a smoldering ash in there right now. 
right now we're gonna enjoy some soup all right let's give it a try very hot almost too hot to eat so there you have it bon appetit